It's true, Israel is a Jewish state, but alongside the Jews, there are also Muslim Arabs, Christians, and Jews, along with also other ethnicities, including a small and special sect, the Circassian sect. The Circassians are a Caucasian people consisting of 12 tribes who live mainly in the North Caucasus, Russia, Turkey, and the rest of the Middle East. In Israel, there is a small community of Circassians who live mainly in two villages in the Galilee, Kfar Kama in the Lower Galilee and Rehaniye in the Upper Galilee. Most Circassians, including those in Israel, belong to the religion of Islam. And one of them is the Israeli MMA fighter Yanal Ashmuz, aka the Red Fox. Why this nickname and who chose it? I was working in the factory back then with a friend, so I had my first fight amateur. So they told us to come up with some nickname. So, you know, we were thinking about like a couple of stuff came up, but uh, eventually it said like Red Fox and I, I just liked it. Yanal represents Israel in the largest competitive fighting league in the world, UFC. And he's only the second Israeli there. I represent Israel because I was born here. I'm Circassian, I'm Muslim. So I represent three of them. Everyone should be happy for it. Instead of fighting each other, it's like a peace. Why to make a fight from nothing, right? He won his debut fight in the UFC in one minute and 15 seconds. Even though his opponent was considered the favorite both because of his size and physicality, but also because the crowd strongly favored the opponent. Still, Yanal defeated him in a knockout. Because Yanal represents Israel, many people assume he is Jewish. But believe it or not, he's unfortunately been in the receiving end of some pretty disturbing anti-Semitism. Every time they post something of mine, they say like, uh, you know, a Jewish guy is gonna fight or stuff like that, you know, he's gonna lose that Jewish guy, something like that. A lot of Circassian guys say that, they say to him, no, he's a Muslim, he's Circassian, he's not Jewish, but he's an Israeli guy, like, they protect me. So, I don't have a problem with that, you know. No matter what you do, People will always say something about you. So just do what you believe in, right? Say what you believe in and that's it. Despite all the obstacles, nothing will stop Yanal and he will continue to represent the country and the Circassian community with dignity on his way to the top. Tell me what is your goals and dreams? My dream was to get to UFC first of all. So I made it, I did it. Now I want to go for the build. I know it's gonna take time, like two years, three years, but the consistency is the key. So you just need to keep to train and fighting all the time. It's gonna come eventually. If you're like serious, you will get there. So that's my dream and my goal is to be healthy all the time. Whatever uh, the situation is, just try your best. If you love it, go for it. Because there's gonna be a lot of obstacles, you know, in the way that's gonna make you sometimes think, why wow, is it good? I need to do this. But eventually, if you keep going at it, you, you will get it. No matter how much time it's gonna take, you'll get there. So that's like, never give up. That's, that's my message. Israel is a country of equality and partnership between different cultures and religions. And that's part of its beauty. On the other hand, Israel is a strong country with real fighters. So don't mess with us.